I'm going to start. I'm going to go. Y'all go ahead and turn your microphones on, and I'm going to start the recording. Okay. All right, everybody. Hold on. I don't got to. You ready? Hold on. <laughs> she can't wait. <laughs> okay. I can pick it off because I know you're vaccinated. We're, we're on now. So. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. We're going to get started. Thank you. Um, roll call. L. It looks like uh, Jean and Michael and who else is not here? Matthew. Matthew. We're missing the guys. Mm -hmm. Matthew may show up because he said he would be here. So. Super. All right. Um, all right. Let's go forward and look at the um, approval of the minutes. Has everybody had a chance to read this? Yes. Excellent. And so do I have a motion on the minutes? So moved. So moved. Second? I'll second. Great. All in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. I guess I'll raise your hand for Al. Okay. Thank you. Minutes approved. Excellent. All right. Well, next we will have all the great happenings from Kim. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Thank you. I don't know if your your mic that needs to be closer to the microphone. Okay. Is that better? Okay. Can you help me out with the overhead? I got a little. It's on. Is it on? Okay. Good deal. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hello. Um, I'm going to give my report here, and I'm just trying to give you an overview of some things that have happened. Just touch base on the key points. And we did this last meeting too, so and I think it, I think we've done it once maybe, and then some things that are maybe coming up too. So um, we had the Let's Face It portrait exhibit. It'll be here through August 31st, and they had the reception this past uh, weekend. We had over about two and a half hours. We had 171 people. Wow! This is the largest gallery show in and out, not at one time. But it was probably the most festive one that we've had yet. It was really great. Uh, Charles uh, Perman exhibit is in the studio gallery at the Alfreda Art Center. And this is his, um, just to kind of show this is what we do for Instagram. And I just thought it was really interesting that he has these sketches, just hundreds and hundreds of these that he would just do during COVID. So part of that is about his exploration and what he did during that time mm -hmm. frame. Coming up with uh, Music Match, we have shows. And if you go, I didn't make copies of this for everybody because we do have a partnership with the CVB. And you can go search Live Music Alpharetta. And it'll come up as a calendar. And not only does it show Music Match, but it shows all of the live music in Alpharetta. So all of these shows are listed. We did actually, we were awarded yesterday by Fulton County a $7,800 grant for Music Match, which we're, we're thrilled about. Yay. So that was awesome. good news. Morgan loves that money. <laughs> I know, I know. So please stop by and try to see some shows. We're still filling in if it says to be determined. A lot of the Music Match shows are booked um, pretty short. It's a short turnaround. So those, are, those can be anywhere from two weeks to a month out. We have coming up, I wanted to kind of reserve some dates. In this brochure here, I'm not really gonna show the full, the full thing because it's a work in progress, but I wanted you to know that the month of October, we're calling it uh, Arttober, and it's our Arts and Humanities Month. We will have, every weekend we have something going on. So in addition to that, we have things going on during the week. So we have Shakespeare in the Park, we'll have The Tempest, we have the uh, log cabin grand opening. We'll have the slice of life gal excuse me slice of life gallery exhibit. Horizon Theater is going to be doing. Um, we have a series of three shows. Our new Georgia women. Um, it's Black Women Spree Speak. I think I sent that out to each of you, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we've got a lot going on. So I hope you can participate. We'll also have at the Art Center on October 9th, We'll have our family fun day. And we're going to be inviting a lot of our instructors and invite our community to get to know them. So, Can you just uh, elaborate on what, what Slice of Life again is? I forgot. It's our next uh, gallery show. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll send this brochure out when we okay. finish it. And that way you can kind of reserve and participate. But we have, please kind of, kind of remember 
October's a busy month, and if you could push that out for us, that'd be great, too. Sweet. Is, is the uh, pumpkin harvest part of this, too? The scarecrow harvest, um, that's not done by cultural services, but we do participate in it, and we support it very much. We love that event. So, <laughs> For Black Women Speak, I just wanted to show you an email that they sent. Um, they're going to have Zoom meetings, and I just received this today, so sorry about the email format, but they're going to be doing talks on Zoom and sharing information with each other to collectively put these plays together. Hello. Hi, Jean. Hello. So I was reading the information about this and, and trying to send it out, and uh, it is a little confusing. So, like, for instance, when you said, like, at this point, the chats are about putting together information to write a play, correct? Correct. And so when you said that in October, Horizons is performing this play? Yes. I thought they were just talking about it in October. Performing it at the end of October. So, it's so the discussions are right now. Yes. Because I think the way it reads, it sounds like the discussions are in October. Oh, does it? Okay, I'll look at that. I mean, when I read it, my friends read it, I kept going, wait, what? <laughs> so, just saying. Okay, thank you for that. And I'll, I'll go back and take a look at that. Horizon is, uh, we're actually partnering on the program with them. Yes. And it's a little confusing. It's a national program, and so we're all understanding it. It's the first year, so. Okay. It's yeah. a very quick turnaround, which is kind of fun in the art world, because it's a little bit of improv. Okay. So. Yeah, I know when I Googled it, it came up New Mexico or something, and I thought, wait, what? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> All right, and then at the Art Center, um, I had mentioned about um, performances at the Art Center, art leader groups. And if you're not familiar with those groups, what we do is Arts Alpharetta is our nonprofit group, and they help us with all of our other art leader groups in Alpharetta. And that can be an orchestra group, a band, a library, Act One, and we're trying to bring them, like tonight, Melody will be speaking about that, about Act One. So we're trying to get to know their needs. A lot of their needs have changed after COVID. So we've been spending a lot of time with them, getting to know mm -hmm. where their group is at, what they need. Um, we recently just partnered with the Alfreda Youth Symphony, and they'll be doing the rehearsals on Sunday in the Black Box at the Art Center. So. Galleries, I wanted to give you a visual here. We have our uh, little, it's our little mini free gallery on Old Roswell Street. And if you can see this box, it's kind of like one of those free libraries where you grab, you know, grab a book and you can put a book in there if you want. This here is um, art. They filled this up five days ago and they're doing this regularly. It's their work program and their students, their Lion Heart, it's their Lion Works, excuse me, group. They create art, they check the box twice a week, and they're filling it up, and they're having gallery shows regularly, and people are taking the art. So if you can stop by, take a look at it. Um, I just wanted you to see the quality. I just was really impressed, and we're gonna have signage. She's putting up signage over the next week or two, so. Next. Now this is going to be sort of fast, but I want to ask for your help. We have a wonderful guide right here with a lot of classes, and what happens at the Art Center is we propose a lot of classes, but if they don't fill, we cancel them. So anything you can do to help us push these out would be wonderful. We have things like paint your own pet workshop, make it really easy, come in for just uh -huh. th three hours one day. We have added things like uh, it's... Bollywood fusion. We've added dance classes for different age groups. Uh, beginning uh, metalsmith jewelry. We have pop art, and this is an, for an adaptive pop art class. So we're trying to hit different age groups. We're trying to hit different mediums. Mm -hmm. We have silk painting. Um, it's this is a wonderful class. It's really beautiful work that comes out of this class. Mono print. I don't know what this is, but I'll find out. I'll find out. Um, ceramic pumpkin workshop. I mean, it just goes on and on. Wow. We tr put these ads on Instagram because you can't give all the visuals right now in the guide. It would just be too too much in print. But what we do is we create the classes into Instagram ads, and we're putting those out there. So just wanted to give you an overview on that. 
we are um, public art guidelines. I don't know if anybody had a chance to send out an email this afternoon to try to get that committee together. Mm -hmm. And we're still trying to find a date. So we'll work that out when the committee can meet. The Some more dates. So. Did you find yeah. a few more? OK, great. We were so close. We had two dates that almost everybody could meet. They were just so, we were very, very close. We are working on a uh, proposed Xavier. Xavier is the artist, Mural. He was an artist that lived in Oregon last year and the fires that came through downtown um, burned his, his entire life work, what? basically. And he's living here. We walked around uh, downtown. Right now he's in Chicago working on a mural. And he kind of does mural environments. He's a pretty well-known artist. I can send a link out um, with his work. But right now he's looking, a mural is being privately funded. And uh, he's looking at doing a mural somewhere downtown. So I'll, I just wanted you to have that in the back of your head. And as I know more information about it, I'll bring it to you. Busking guidelines, the committee. We did find a date for that committee. Where our first meeting is on Tuesday, August 31st at 12 p.m. And we'll see. I'm hoping that the meeting format for that committee and for the public art committee, what I'd like to do is take notes, kind of keep us on target real sharp for an hour because I'm trying to minimize everybody's time. And what I'll do is I'll go back and do most of the work afterwards and collectively send it back out to everybody. So bear with me if I push this along in that hour. So. History, on the history side of things, in the community gallery, which is right across here, we're gonna have a our really first kind of big show. We've had one history show last year, but we'll have our first big show. It's the 100th anniversary Milton High School art show. They've reached out to graduates, current students, all of their you know students basically, and they're gonna have artwork there and hanging in the community gallery sometime in September. I don't know the install date right now, but they'll, I'll announce that later when we know. And then Log, Log Cabin Archives Project, uh, it's a pretty big project right now. We just met with our IT department and we're getting Wi-Fi at the log cabin. If you haven't been there, I would still love to take you. You'd be really surprised if you haven't been inside. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful place and um, the archives will be on the ground level and we have past perfect software we're setting up. There's just a lot of behind the scenes work. They're having to arrange archival shelving, the Historical Society is doing a lot of work and a lot of investment in that. So if you see anybody, tell them thank you. So any questions? That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Next, we have uh, some new dates for our November, December meetings. Everyone noticed those? And I put a sheet at your seat. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to take the little note on the on the bottom that says these dates will change but the dates have changed but I'll so I can okay and I can send you that via email too so you can have it so. thank you sure. all right uh, and Morgan has told me he has no comments today right hard to believe you yeah you can change your mind of course <laughs> I got to think it. Uh, good evening good to see everybody here I got to thinking there was a couple things I do want to tell you about when uh, Kim mentioned music match uh, yeah, everybody knows I love music, but so I, I start smiling. And then I realize that in October is Wire and Wood. Oh yeah, Wire and Wood the second weekend. That's October eighth and ninth. So we now have thirty artists on six stages over two days. And so if you go to the uh, Wire and Wood, if you, if you type in Wire and Wood twenty twenty one, it'll take you to the website. And there's a listing of the, all the artists that are coming right now. So it's pretty exciting. The exact schedule is still we're still trying to tweak a couple of of times on it, but we know the artists that are coming. And one good thing about Wire and Wood this year is that we've teamed up our Wire and Wood folks with our Music Match folks. So mm -hmm. on Friday, Friday and Saturday, we're gonna, we're gonna have some Music Match throughout downtown that's gonna lead into mm -hmm. Wire and Wood. So we're kind of getting a double whammy there, um, kind of a, uh, a prequel, if you will, to Wire and Wood. So we're really excited about those two days. So check that out. Uh, the schedule should be ready here in the next week or so, but if you're like me and you like music, you can go to the artist and you can listen to all of them. You can go ahead and decide who you're going to see over those two days. Uh, we're really excited about our two headliners. If you're in the 
singer-songwriter world, they're pretty big. You have Ruthie, Fra Ruthie Foster on Friday night, and then we have Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors on Saturday night. So those are really big regional acts, and we're really excited about those. Mm -hmm. The other thing I wanted to tell you about that uh, uh, is exciting is that we got a donation. The city, being, a, uh, being the entity, got a donation from the Evans con Construction Company of a new, brand-new Christmas tree that's going to go over the fountain. You know, we had to take, down, to take the down the old Christmas tree at the corner there because it was it was yeah. just about on its last leg, it was in the wrong place, all that. But this one is going to be a 42-foot artificial tree that looks like a real tree, fully decorated with lights, with an eight-foot star on it. So it's going to be a 50-foot <laughs> Christmas tree right in the middle of downtown um, nice. coming up this year. And uh, so they they uh, Evans donated that tree. Uh, with the uh, with two stipulations is one is that we we need to put up a, a plaque that says they donated and the second is that it, when we are talking about it we have to use the word Christmas tree we can't say holiday tree so just want everybody to be aware of that that is coming that was a condition that came with the with the with the donation but we're really excited about it because it's going to give us a place that we can you know that we can center all of our activities this season of celebration around um, and I think it's going to be uh, at, I think it's just going to be an iconic shot from Highway 9 mm -hmm. through Town Green. Now, that's, that's actually Town Green, not the Town Brown. Um, <laughs> and the Christmas tree with City Hall behind it is really a great, a great uh, okay. photo. So we're excited. Um, I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have, if, if you've got any for me. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. Thank you, Morgan. Right, thank you, you did that to me last meeting, too. You said I have nothing. In yeah, the, I know. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Public comments. I don't think I see any. Okay. Next, unfinished business. Oh, I don't think we have anything, do we? I don't think so. No. Okay. Terrific. So we can move forward to the new business, and I see we have some mem some of our applicants here for this uh, mural. So, do you want to start, Kim, and introduce it, and then sure. we'll have me talk about it. I'll set the stage and let you know where we're at right now. They filed our application last week, and we were able to have time uh, to have a review with Arts Alpharetta, and we met with them for about an hour. Arts Alpharetta, I sent that summary out to you yesterday, and I know Ellie had updated the agenda with that also. Um, they put some initiatives in there, gave some suggestions, and I know that they worked on it over the weekend, and they made changes, which I just got received some of those changes late this afternoon so that they could have them ready for this meeting. Perfect. Okay. Take it away. And I'll, um, if you want, I'll kind of move things along okay. for you so we can... They had packet. We have packets for everyone's oh, okay. building. Is that Why I have? No, no. I would give them packets too. Yeah, we have too. all this. Okay, we don't have this. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to give that one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna put you in the hot seat now. Now this is teamwork. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Amira Joe with North Point Community Church, and uh, this is my colleague. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Jennifer Brooks. I'm a, a producer and director on our media team. And I'm Lauren Bray. Um, I work with Amira at North Point Ministries. So, thank you so much for the opportunity to uh, propose a mural um, for the city of Alpharetta. And so, before you, you have our actual proposal, and I'd love to walk you through it. So, North Point Community Church, um, we do an annual campaign called Be Rich. And as a part of this campaign, we encourage our attenders to give and serve and love the community in a very big way. And so our pastor, Andy Stanley, he'll do um, a special message in September where he's asking our congregation to give financially. Um, he'll ask them to give, you know, $39.95 in a very cheeky way. And our attendees will give money, and all of the money that we receive, we give away. And so what we've done, the Intersect team that um, Lauren and I work with, what we've done is we've met with various nonprofit organizations and schools around North Fulton, around Atlanta, because we have multiple churches, and actually around the globe, because we have international reach as well. And so we sit down with these various nonprofits, and we find out what we can do to help them go further faster. And they give us different projects that they would like funded. And so through the Be Rich campaign, we're able to fund these various projects. All right, and what we do as well is we ask people to serve in the community as well. 
And so we will go to the NFCCs, to the Drake House, to schools in the community. We ask them, how can we serve you um, for an extended time, time, amount of time from September till December with various service opportunities? And then everyone in our congregation is invited to take opportunities and go and actually serve. And that, of course, happens throughout the state because we have churches all over um, Georgia. And so um, what we're doing this year, we have a new creative design um, to kind of like um, that shows the heart of Be Rich. And so um, a gentleman by the name of Michael, he's on our creative team. He designed this mural that we would like to put here in Alpharetta. And so I'd like to kind of walk you through that. So if you look on um, the page that says mural design, and so what we are looking at is Wills Park Recreation Center near the yellow playground. We're looking to put um, a design there. The mural was created by Michael Stidham and the artist would be Erica Chisholm. We will have other murals around the city um, and I've listed some of those locations at the bottom of that page. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna put um, different iterations of this mural in different places around the city. And so they won't be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, so just wanted you to know that there will be others around the city. And just to help, just to help you, it would be not Alfreda City, but vicinity, city of, just yeah, Metro yeah, Atlanta. Metro, Metro Atlanta, Atlanta. yeah, Atlanta. sorry, Metro Atlanta. Um, we do have a maintenance plan. Um, the artist has assured us a maintenance plan for four years, um, and that includes yearly touch-ups. There also will be um, a graffiti and a rain <coughs> sealant on the mural as well. After four years, we have three options, um, whichever one you choose. Um, year to year option is to maintain the design. That will be $1,000 per year, and that will be covered by our cost. Um, if you wanted us to reprime the wall to its original state, that would be $4,500, and again, that will be our cost as well. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted a new mural, that would be a new discussion. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And so the next page is the actual proposed art. Uh, we are proposing to cover the entire wall uh, with this particular design. And so in this design, um, after meeting with the council last week, we made some, some modifications. And one modification we did make was adding an A on the left side of the mural. Um, you can see it's like a curved kind of A there on the left. And we also, to the right, you'll see um, the Capitol building. Um, we put that on the right side of the mural as well to kind of represent uh, the city of Alpharetta. And so um, we also added a blue river uh, to kind of like, um, that runs behind the Capitol building just to kind of. Down the display that the kids, my kids play in. <laughs> yeah, through the park, there's like a oh, little bit of water. The, yeah, the, yeah, we just the, added that the blue river there, there yeah. on the side there. And then the heart um, in the middle is for the Give, Serve, Love initiative. And then the little bit of green and yellow is a little nod to kind of the hills and horse country we have mm -hmm. around here. And then the next page will actually show a mock-up of what it looks like on the wall. And I think it looks amazing. <laughs> um, but we do have other variations as well. So we wanted to give you all some other um, you know, models that you could select if you did approve it. Um, however, we do think the, the proposed art on the first, the first one is mm -hmm. the best option. But again, that's your decision. Could you go back to that one? Um, just to see it on the, yeah. The one on the bottom. The, which one? So it takes up the whole. Oh, the whole wall. Mm. Is, um, are you using the same tagline in each of the cities? Give, serve, love? Um, not in each. I have some examples of same what's tagline, the yes. same, same, well, same. It's not in all of them. So like this one doesn't have it. So I have Can some other iterations up? further in the proposal. Oh, there is some. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Of what they could look like. Yeah. Okay. So if you. When there is text, um, the murals in the community will say give, serve, love. There are a few versions that will say be rich, but those are intra-campus and people that are more aware of what the campaign is. What it means. Okay. And that's a perfect segue. I was curious. Give, serve, love, and be rich. Is that a branded, trademarked? Um, phrase that is associated with North Point Community Church. Is it trademark? It is. It's yeah. 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 It is. I think the concern that this raises for me is. Yeah. We'll um, discuss that. Okay. All right. 
Okay, so um, these other mural iterations are different places that you're going to do around the um, city, okay. or, or around Metro Atlanta as right. well. Yes. And where's this last one with the hands? That one's going to be where? We are considering that at the Atlanta Mission, the brand new women's and children's Atlanta shelter they're building, that and that is, that's not a final version of the design, okay. but we wanted to give you a sense of what a direction would be that we're headed. Okay, so and it mentions in your application that you um, are going to hire a muralist mm -hmm. to actually do it, but you had an internal person create the design. Okay, yes. so it's a different. Okay. Um, any other just sort of technical questions for these applicants? Mm -hmm. Terrific. Um, what we'll do now is we'll ask you guys to leave the room. Uh, maybe no, they don't some, have to leave the room. They don't have to leave the room for this discussion? Okay. I Thank did you. have one thing I wanted to add this, um, from the video production standpoint. So as a part of the campaign kickoff, um, every year we do a big launch video. It broadcasts across all our campuses and online. Okay. Um, as part of that video, we want to film processes of these murals being done around the city. Uh, with this specific Wills Park location, if you all um, are open to approving it, we would like to feature this as the primary um, mural we are covering because it's the biggest one and I think the most beautiful in my opinion if we, mm. we get to move forward with it. So we would um, love to bring in some volunteers as extras and sort of showcase the community helping out. And so we would have a film crew of mm, 10 or 12 people there um, at the park location. If that's okay, we'll work through the film permitting office. They would have to so, go through our yeah, permitting Yeah, make sure we're, we're all proper. But I wanted to just for full awareness let you know that we would like to, if you approve, also feature it amongst all the murals as kind of the prime visual. So just for further awareness. Terrific. Okay, Al, so we need a proposal on this first before we start discussion. Just want to make sure. Ask questions. You can, you can limit the, you can, for, you can say for purposes of discussion, um, we, you know, you can discuss it, but you can't discuss it for a long period of time without a motion. So. Okay. Can, can I ask a question? I'd, I'd like to ask a question. So on the mural, will there be a signature of the artist? Will there be recognition of North Point Community Church? I'm just, just curious. It's just a lot of times there is, so I thought no, that would be important to know. Be. Okay? Yep. Uh, Sabine, you had a good comment. You want to continue with what your thought was with that? I was, well, on one hand, I've got the concern that it is a, a brand or a trademark, and what's the city's um, stand on allowing that? What is, what are our I think you would have to probably talk to Brett about that, because it could be considered a sign, so mm -hmm. you have to make sure it's not considered a sign. Well, let me clarify, the Be Rich is trademarked is the Give, Share, Love is the trademark. Give, Share, Love. It is copyrighted and part of that is because we have so many partnering churches that partner with us um, not only for Be Rich but just as part of our North Point Ministries network um, and so we were advised that because we provide some art to these churches to these other churches that we would need to have a copyright need to have that phrase copyrighted just to provide some protection for us and for those churches um, so that's really the purpose of having it copyrighted Again, to provide us protection, but also to provide protection for those churches that use, use that phrase for their Be Rich campaign. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you, did you want to say something? Yeah. Um, I know in the review, Arts Alpharetta brought up the same, you know, the same question. And I think they went through comparing it to the logo is not on there. So where does that, so they're not putting a North Point logo. That was just brought up in discussion. So, but it was brought up. So I just wanted yeah. to know. They yeah, just I'm curious that. to what degree this phrase is a tagline, you know. And then I guess it could stand on its own as a, as a trademark logo or whatever. So I, I, I was curious what the city's viewpoint but was on that. Anything, there can't be, you can't control content. I know that much. Right. So that. That's the, we don't really talk about taglines in the code, but um, I don't know about the other. But I mean, mm -hmm. I know we're trying to promote murals, so hopefully it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and the reason too, one of the reasons we do give serve love, I um, kind of a different uh, 
um, discussion in a way, but we feel like that's something that's really approachable for people, whether or not they're part of a church or not. Those words, give, serve, and love, are things that people can kind of get behind. Um, and so mm-hmm. that's the reason that we would put that front and center. We don't, you know, we know that be rich can be something that's really confusing for people, um, and we don't really feel the need to promote the church in any of it either. It's just really that, <coughs> just that message to share with people of like, hey, this is an opportunity that we have to encourage generosity in our community and to encourage that, just that message of giving and serving and loving others. Um, so we would hope that for the city of Alpharetta and for some of the other locations that this might be that um, it could be photo ops for people and not even be related to the church, you know, has nothing to do with that. Just to be able to get out there to promote people, like, um, especially that unifying message that Right now. So. Yeah. Great. So, as a as a backdrop, are you planning on having more photo shoots there? You're bringing people together in forms of um, events at that location? No, 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 not at all. All right, I guess, um, do we want to make... I should call for a motion and then... Yeah, let's call for a motion because some of the comments I want to make wouldn't apply now. Does anybody have a motion on this, whether we accept or not accept it? Hmm. Motion to accept. Okay, do I have a second? Second. 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 Okay. All right. Um, So let's... uh, I would like to open up for discussion with the group to... um, One thing I want to say before we get started... um, this is a bit of protocol, we, uh, which uh, Air show, Elle showed with me earlier, which is um, if anyone has a financial relationship or a family member does or is employed by North Point Community Church or any applicant that comes before us, they would need to recuse themselves as well as if they served on the board. So um, if we don't have an issue here. Okay, terrific. All right. So uh, let's open it up for discussion. Um, you know, when I think about murals, I think that they should kind of match the surrounding area, the neighborhood. And this is a public park. It's near a playground. It's near um, a lot of sports activities. And, um, you know, I just, and the theme of the park is, have you had your fun today? <laughs> Which I think it is. And so for me, uh, right now, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with this slogan fitting in with the, the park. I think the colors are great. It matches the playground um, items that are there. It's very colorful. But it's the give, serve, love. Now, you could say serve and love are both sports terms if you know tennis, but I can't get quite get around the give. You know? <laughs> so, um, you know, when I think, I don't know. But that's my first impressions of this. So, um, any other thoughts? What are y'all thinking about it? I understand what you're saying. I think my other concern, not concern, but we're still um, just starting to look at murals. And so I do look at them as an art piece contribution to the city. And that's what we are, is the Arts Commission. And this is beautiful. But just the way that the proposal was put out, where it said, we plan this and we'll hire an artist to do it. And I'm like, well, you hire the artist to design it is how I guess I looked at it. And I'm not, I, and then here you told me that there was an artist, the fella, Eric, was it Eric? Michael. Michael, Michael, yeah. Michael that's what it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Erica, Erica was the person the who's going to um, paint yeah. it in. Yeah. So, so I'm looking at it from the standpoint of, of just, you know, creating beautiful art here in Alpharetta. So um, I'm just thinking about that. I, I agree with you. I think what I'm looking for is art, standalone art, not yeah. associated with a campaign or any of that kind of stuff. I love it, but that's why I brought up, you know, what's the rule in the city, too, because to me, this is not standalone art. This is attached to something else. Well, how would anyone know that? Because you'll see it elsewhere in the city, around Metro Atlanta, the oh, same thing. So I don't know if I was allowed to do that, but I typed in give, serve, love, and the first thing that popped up is North Point Community Church. That's why I asked about the, the trademark and the branding. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I am saying this is beautiful, and this is, yeah, I like I'm, I'm, I'm an artist, and I do a lot of graphics, so I know how hard this is to do, and it did a beautiful job. I just, I just, the way it was presented, it didn't sound like it was new art for the city. Right. That's all. 
It's also, I don't know how many of you went and looked at the wall. It's a huge wall. Oh, it's yeah. very visible. So it's like a billboard. You'll see it from the equestrian area. I mean, well, before you cross the street there. Um, so it, when I looked at it, I thought, wow, this is <laughs> really going to overwhelm the space. Personally, I thought it might. You thought it might be overwhelming. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I went by it. I didn't think about the whole thing because so. I think I only had at the time this first one, which was the heart. So, yeah. Our, our committee thought that you all would want something to cover the entire wall, which is why we went back. Oh, that's true. So we could we could say it could be smaller, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the thought that went into it, all the aspects of it. I, I really like, I, I love it. Yeah. It's big, but I like it. <laughs> it is, it is. I mean, I don't have an answer. I just am throwing, thinking about it, so. I know, I just. So, um, I'm sorry, so your issue is the tagline? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. Um, my um, issue is is that this is um, our our job is to bring public art. Mm -hmm. So is is this public art or is this a promotion? So that's all. But without the tagline, it would be art. Yeah, I guess so. And that's why I asked at the beginning. You weren't here. Will there be signature? Will it be sponsored oh, by North Point? And they said no. But if you look, the heart symbol is also going to be, you know, look at the other iterations of it. That heart symbol is part of it, too, not just the text. So it just, it just you know, I love it in terms of the design, but I, I struggle with the fact that it's going to be around Metro Atlanta, and, and it's their tagline that you plug that in, and it pops right up. Can I still ask questions? Sure. <laughs> um, what's the uh, process, I guess, in the other cities? Have you gotten approval anywhere else? Um, so with the other locations, we are doing them on the walls of different nonprofit partners that we have, um, like charities, food banks. So they're volunteering their walls mm -hmm. um, so far. Um, we haven't gotten to the point of needing that in other locations, but I think I that, see. yeah. That makes sense, Sam. But I mean, to clarify too, Matthew, I, I don't have a pro I actually really like the way that they did it. I mean, I thought yeah. give, serve, love is a great way, like you had said, it's, um, it's uh, universal. So, yes. One thing we are doing that we are still doing, so we haven't been able to represent it as much as we would like to maybe in a week or two in the presentation, is um, collaborating with all the muralists to put their own sort of uh, flavor on the design mm -hmm. and um, they're taking it as inspiration and then bringing in their own aesthetic like one is bringing in florals because he does a lot with 2d florals another one is doing a hand-drawn so and we're still working with them and Michael to our designer um, who honestly is an artist in his own right yeah. he just doesn't happen to paint <laughs> yeah. um, to bring their voices into it and trying to collaborate because the story of these spaces, again, I come from video world, so the, the, the metaphor, if you will, that we want to tell with the launch video, which then inspired this mural um, campaign, or a campaign, but the creation of all these spaces, was the idea that just like all of our different charities, um, nonprofits that we push funds to, we do that, and the reason Be Rich was designed this way was because we, they do it better than we do. We don't expect that we are good at everything. We don't understand the nuances of local homeless issues or food scarcity. So we support the people that are in the communities that do do that every day, day in and day out, and give them the resources they need. So the metaphor is that these artists represent the nonprofits in their own uniqueness, in their own you know, special um, intra-community understanding, and then it's the Be Rich message that is the unifier. So there is a little bit of the heart. In some places, the Give, Serve, Love is going to be shown, but it's more the spirit that's unifying each of their uniqueness. So it is a, you've really honed right to the center of the story we are actually trying to tell with this, this idea. I, I keep uh, wondering whether I would have less of an issue with it if it were a two-piece art. So you've got a mural that's there 365 days a year, but at some point during your campaign, you can put something up and then it comes off again. Um, and maybe, and I like what you just said about the artist being able to put the Wills Park flavor in there, 
because we want that park to say, mm -hmm. come, play, have fun. This isn't about giving, necessarily. Mm -hmm. I, I think it needs a little work to, for me to make it work that place, yeah. So uh, when you were saying that different muralists will be involved, so this isn't the final version. In other words, somebody can come up and put something different in the yellow triangle, put so flowers in there? This, this one is, or it could be, let's say, the final version. And Erica and Michael have collaborated and gone back and forth on it. Okay. But I would say this is pretty close to his style. She has, she's actually collaborating with us on a whole nother mural. I did, that's, that's what I thought. This, because I think we really yeah. have to approve a final yeah. version. Yeah. yeah, this is, yeah. no, this is, this, this is final. Is okay. This is final. Um, but in what I'm, what I was. Um, it is, a, a lot of muralists are working on the other ones too, using this same heart design. Okay. You know, I think all the words that you're using really reflects what Alfreda is like. Yeah. So, you know, none of this is actually a problem. Um, the way it feels. I think it's, you know, knowing that we're really picky about people putting their logos on construction fences and, you know, we have ordinances against all of that. So okay. I'm, this to me kind of falls into the very gray zone <laughs> there. But I think, um, I think being a rich community, you know, enriching, having this wonderful, rich park in the middle of downtown. So I, I think this, you can really play off of that, right? I, th I think it's, maybe tagline's too big, I don't know, but I'm, I'm throwing it out there, it's mm, so it not sounds like, like that. Sabine, you're, you're thinking that maybe a change for what the words are would make it, I, yeah. and personally, I would feel more comfortable too. It just, that bothers me a lot. To change the words or to yeah. have them or not permanent? Remember. Not permanent, no, yeah. change them. I think, um, I think if we take our eyes off of the church aspect of it, the campaign aspect of it, and really look at the words. Because mm -hmm. I look at, I want to be in a community where they're giving, where we're serving, and where we love. I think in the community where we're in some time, we're so stuck in the four walls that we can't see past the four walls. I personally like it. I just wish it was a little bit more smaller um, because it's like a dollar bill. We see in God we trust all the time. That's not going anywhere. If we are really um, passionate about the work of giving and serving the community and loving one another, it falls right in the line with what we should, what our purpose should be. And so that's how I feel about it. I see what you're saying. I totally. I feel that the message is is really clear. Um, it. It has to do with the fact that it's in the park. It's a, for me. It's around the sports events, and it just doesn't quite work for me right there. That's another issue I have with it. But. I don't know if it's a, maybe I'm opening up a can of worms, but I mean, if there's something. Can, I, can you hold on one second? Okay. Really, during the motion, uh -huh. since you've already called for discussion, unless you directly ask them a question, they aren't supposed okay, to. Sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Oh. Okay. So, I think the way I would put it in one sentence is, I would be afraid that we are publicly endorsing a house of worship on a public wall, mm -hmm. and I would be careful with that one. As, you know, and, in, would, and in the worst sense, the they are capital campaign, which we don't yeah. want to do either. Yeah. So, uh, true. I mean, if you extrapolated, somebody could say that. Are you putting North Point on the wall, anything? So, yeah, I don't know where someone's driving down the street, they would say that. That's coming from the church. The message comes from the heart and who you are as a person. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a little stained glass thing going on here with me, too, which I associate with the church. But uh, oh, anyway, I love so. It. <laughs> I know, I love it too, but with that exception. So, what we have right now is a motion on the. Um, uh, could you read that motion again, Al? Uh, she just made the motion to accept. Without any chance. So right now the motion is uh, to accept it as it is, but we can also amend the motion to have a friendly amendment. To a friendly that. amendment. So, um, do we have? Are we ready to vote on this, or can we make an amendment to it? Have you closed discussion? She'll. Have, she'll. If whoever makes a friendly amendment, if the one is made, 
um, Melody would have to yes. accept okay. the amendment. Accept that, the, the amendment, so. Uh, I think there needs to be at least an amendment. For the amendment. For the, for the, the message in it. Okay, so. Um, Sabine, it's kind of hard to hear you. Could you just go ahead and say that into the microphone? I'd like to make a motion. A friendly amendment. A friendly amendment to the motion to address the tagline. To address it or? But what do you want done with it? Do you want it removed or? (laughs) It's so hard to think of. To at least be less visible so that the art takes predominant placing on the wall instead of the tagline. I can accept that. Ben, <coughs> I apologize okay, for being now we late. Need to, now, we have to, wait, wait. now we have to, to vote. You accepted it, so now we really should vote on the motion. So what if it passes? We add another motion? You can it? vote it down if you want to make you it. Can add, okay. You wanna add another friendly amendment? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to add another friendly amendment that we also um, review the size of it um, as to really whether we do want the whole wall or just a portion of the wall. Actually, the motion was to accept the mural. Oh, gosh. (laughs) Well, okay, that's all right. You just have to decide whether you want to accept that. Or do we have to table it until? No, you have to decide whether you want to accept. If you'll review the site first, you. Sure, I'll review them. <laughs> okay, so the amendment reads now that we want to um, look at a. It's more about the art behind it rather than the message, and that also um, consideration does it need to be the full wall or not. Um, I would also want to see any reiteration before it actually goes up as well um, to make sure we're comfortable with it. But so, so oh. you need to vote now. Go ahead and vote, and then okay, and then you'll Move if you're going to review the size, you're probably going to end up deferring it. So, okay. So I don't know if you want to. All right. Let me ask. A, can I ask a question first? I actually went and looked at it. I know you went and looked at it. Did anybody else actually go and look at this wall? You did? Okay, see. So. I was at the wall. That's why I was late. Okay, okay. So we did have a couple of us go look at it. And it is a very large wall, but that's my, anyway. Um, okay. All right, Elle, I'm totally confused now. Okay. <laughs> um, the amendment, the friendly amendment about reviewing the size of a mural kind of messes up the motion because it's like, when are you going to, re- are you going to re- review because that, that's probably going to cause you to defer this. So, yeah. I, you, but you need to go ahead and vote on the motion. So, and then you'll decide what you're going to. Okay. So let's uh, t- read this motion, and we'll go ahead and okay. take a vote. So the motion was to accept the mural with the friendly amendment to address the tagline to at least be less visible, so that the art is more prominent, and then to review the size of the mural. That's all. I, that's all. I I have to go back and listen to the exact okay. minutes. But so. all right. All those in favor of the amendment? Aye. Our proposal. Hold on one second. Oh, the modif- raise no. your hands modification. No, the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I raise your hands because I've got to okay. see who did who voted. Uh, I'm not sure that's exactly what we're no. voting for. for okay. Modification, correct? No. You're voting oh, for the motion vote. with the friendly amendments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And those not in favor? It would be me. <laughs> Sorry. So the motion passed. Yeah. So now you have to decide who, um, how you're going to, re- or if you have to review the mural, the size of the mural, are you going to have, are you going to have them um, come back with that? I think so, yes. And, and also how it looks. I mean, if they're revising it so that it's not so dominant, we'd like you to. Or no, we can't talk yet. No. Okay. Yes, so. we were, because I, I, when I was looking at these other versions, 
I mean, they're beautiful too, but they're not nowhere near as beautiful as the, the right. first one that you gave us. And so, but I don't know if it could just be shrunk down. I don't, I mean, I don't know what it would take. And that's where, you know, I don't know if we're asking for another layout. These were part of our original. We can't, we can't talk. I don't think we can talk. No, not unless they ask. Well, I mean, they've made. The I am. Comments. I'm asking. Are, are we? Yeah, if you ask her a question. Yeah. So yes. That's so true. so would would y'all be able to re, you know, give us some of their options and especially in this size, like the middle one, where it just takes up the center of the wall, mm -hmm. and includes the Alvaretta references. Right. Keeping the new yes. iconography. The right. new parts, too. Um, yes, we would. Um, do you know, all have a timeline for how the reconsideration process might? You'd have to come back to the next next meeting. And when, when would that be? Is that? A month from today. Would it be, will oh, be, that would be. We just had a list later. Later. September 28th. Yes, yeah, September mm -hmm. 28th. Yeah. Yeah. So our campaign launches the 19th, so we would have to have our done by then, well, which is obviously a, a quick turn for you guys. We appreciate you even working us in. So I can't, you know, again, we're not tying it necessarily to their campaign. That's my problem with it. So, I mean, this is how I would accept it. But can we take the gifts or love off? Gifts or love off? Yes, you could take that off. We can, we will we'll, we'll take that off. You made the motion. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting a little. You okay. already made. You can. You can offer. Someone else can offer a substitute motion. Okay. okay. Somebody want to make. I, can I make a motion to accept the mural without the tagline? Anybody second that? I I'll second. That. Okay. All right. Any further discussion? Oh, Morgan. I, I might have a possible solution. I, I do agree. Um, uh, that there might be a problem because it is copyrighted, mm -hmm. but if the mural did not have a copy line on it and there was a sign at the base of it that said the title of it is Give, Serve, and Love and donated by North um, Point Community Church, that would be acceptable within, our, within the park because we have other things that have done that. They have donated things and put a sign up Absolutely. for that. That is part of that. So that way... You know, they go up, somebody that goes up and sees a sign, the type can get a serve and yeah, love, they go the directly to the North Point. Okay. We're really That's out of part of the right accepting now. that we're, and then okay. that way, I'm real concerned too that, that it could be construed as an advertisement mm -hmm. for uh, North Point Community Church mm -hmm. if somebody wanted to make that point um, because it is copyrighted. So this would, you title it Give, Serve, and Love. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter that it's copyrighted. It's then copyrighted. then you, uh, I think you would be, mm -hmm. I, I know within our realms that we do that because we have other donated items in our park that we've, North, North Side Hospital is a good example. If you go out to that very playground, the yellow playground, by the way, is what my three-year-old daughter, I mean granddaughter calls it, that's the yellow playground. So it's funny that y'all used the yellow <laughs> playground. The website. Yeah, oh, okay, all right. Um, but there are two signs out there that says that is donated by the North Side uh, Hospital because they gave us funds to do that playground. So it is, that would certainly be acceptable within all the realms. And actually, Elle, I think that meets with what the current, uh, what we just approved, which is the murals there, but that the right. tagline is less. So that's an option to move the tagline down. So it fits in with what we just voted on. Can I make a friendly amendment? Um, I'll allow okay. them to talk, Bill. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor. There's a motion on the floor. The motion has been seconded. So you can, you have to, yeah, you can make. Can make another friendly amendment. Yeah. <laughs> I make a friendly amendment that that the um, mural be accompanied by a plaque, plaque instead of on a tagline on the mural. And so then the last question is full size or do we want to see a new size? I like all I of like, the parts in it. I like all the parts in it. Okay. We'll give you that. We'll take the full size. <laughs> is everybody okay with that? So, yeah. all right, the motion on the table is to accept it with the, um, the tagline taken off and moved elsewhere and full size yeah. where we're at. So, full size mural. Full size mural. It'll be a plaque instead. Plaque instead. Thank you, Mark. All right. Um, all those in favor of the motion? Now all of them. <laughs> Terrific. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. I'm sorry to put you through all this, but we're kind of new too. <laughs> so. Did we get a record for a friendly amendment? <laughs> <laughs> thank you all very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Look forward to it. All right, super. Okay.
Um, I said, Jean, we enjoyed having the Alpharetta Symphony Orchestra come and share with us what they were um, about, and so we decided to make that a regular part of our meetings. And so today, Melody is going to talk about Aquan Productions and what they're doing. I want to talk about the symphony a little bit more today. Oh, okay. We have a. All right. Well, um, we'll do that. We Go ahead. Move on. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. Was the issue the the fact that it was Church? Uh, Not that it was a church, but any company or a church that has a tagline and then you feel associated with that, we're not advertising for them. It could set a precedent that yeah. you're mm -hmm. going to allow people, it could be construed as an advertisement, which the code would not allow. Or so. an endorsement. But the signage whatever. would say the same thing, would it not? No, but it's saying, you know, sponsored by. Donated by. Donated by. So we. As Morgan pointed out, that's acceptable to do that. Because he talked earlier uh, about the Christmas tree in the plaque. Yeah. You might not have heard that, but Morgan was talking about a big 60-foot Christmas tree that's going to go in the green, and it was donated by a um, construction company, and, and it said, and, and the stipulation is it has to be called a Christmas tree donated by Evans Construction, and it's a plaque in front of it, and that's acceptable. But not the big, like looking like a billboard. Right. And see when. Um, so, my, my apologies. So, if um, Coca Cola, uh, you see that all over the place, would that be an issue under code? Yeah, they wouldn't allow that. I mean, that would be a sign. My, under Can't. my understanding is someone had presented something that. Um, I don't know, it was some animal that's affiliated with their company and they wanted to put up a statue. And it was like, this is too associated with your company. Like um, Merle Lynch isn't at the bowl. So if Merle Lynch wanted to put a statue of a bowl, you I, could I have would be like, no. You could have every company in the city yeah. every, from all over the place wanting to put up a mural everywhere. I mean, you, yeah. and they just won't let that happen. Right. Exactly. But good questions. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving me the opportunity to explain a little bit more about one of our um, umbrella arts organizations, Act One Theater. And uh, as a bad actor, I've not memorized my lines, but there were so many key things I wanted to get through to y'all, so just bear <coughs> with me. Um, Act One was founded in 1995 by Maura Thornett, who was clerk of session of Alpharetta Presbyterian Church. The first major production was the best Christmas pageant ever. The show has been repeated a few times for the holidays, most recently in 2018, starring, among others, Kim Zane's daughter, Kinsey. Uh -huh. While initially specializing in entertainment for the church, such as dinner, theater, and theological plays, the mainstream plays produced quickly took off and were open to the general public. Act One has been and is currently a revenue-neutral community outreach of Alpharetta Presbyterian. While there are discussions on a separate 501c3 nonprofit, there are pros and cons, and COVID has complicated that situation. In the meantime, our theater is an all-volunteer, non-equity, no-participation fee entity with unpaid staff and actors who participate for a love of the craft and to participate in the uniquely supportive and familial culture at Act One. For founder Moira Thornett helped to found the Metropolitan Atlanta Theater Awards in 2004, celebrating non-union community and semi-professional theater in the Atlanta area. Act One has had numerous nominations and many awards, most notably, our director of light and sound has earned enough awards for his work that they created a lifetime achievement award so others would stand a chance to win. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the uncertainty of COVID has closed down the MAD awards and no news of other programs are available at this time. While hosted by APC, Act One provides entertainment without religious bias and at least one of our main stage shows is chosen to elicit meaningful cultural discussions. Example of that type of show have been The Boys Next Door in 2018, providing discussion on disabilities and mental health, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which had one opening night in March of 2019. Its topic of racism, however, is even more relevant now, so we have brought it back to perform this September. Our main stage is a small theater with a maximum of 100 seats and a stage that, while wide, has a low roof line that does not allow for rigging or set height. This has not, however, compromised the quality of our shows. Rather, we've learned to get very creative in our space. I've given you a handout of the season, and please note that in addition to our main stage shows, we've had a memorandum of understanding with the city since 2017. We have had cabarets in Brook Street Park, provided strong <coughs> characters for the holidays, 
and have a yearly Shakespeare in the Park show at Wills Park and a February show in the Alpharetta Arts Center Black Box. The city generously in return lets us use the Crabapple Jail for costume and prop storage. Much appreciated. <laughs> um, everyone has asked about needs, our needs. One, always, always volunteers, skilled and unskilled. As a community theater, we're dedicated to training folks up. We need box office, ushers, costumes, set builders, painters. Number two, awareness. It's always occurred to me, why can we be providing quality entertainment in Alpharetta for over 25 years, this is our 26 years, without long-term residents knowing that we're here? Any help spreading the word is appreciated. Number three, potential funding considerations, particularly for city projects. Act One has and is funding city shows we received a city grant in 2019, much appreciated, but COVID has made um, future grants at the present time unavailable. As long as Act 1 does not have a separate 501c3, we are not eligible for county and federal grants. We hope the City and Cultural Arts Commission will keep Act 1 in mind as an experienced and knowledgeable resource in any strategic future planning for a performing arts center. Watching many adjacent municipalities cultivate arts centers there are many, many people affiliated with Act One that would like to be a part of any plans going forward in Alpharetta. Thank you for your consideration and support of Alpharetta's Home for Community Theater. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I know, it looks like a wonderful program you've got going on for this year. I'm very yeah, diverse, we're, we're very excited. had to keep postponing our good shows. <laughs> <laughs> we kept rights for them. Right, so, and, and you're okay, so you are easy, because I guess it's small enough you can find space to perform. I thought at one point the church, there was an issue performing there for a while. Is that Yes, yeah. and the city generously let us film um, for on-demand uh, purposes in the art center black box and that was we were very grateful to be able to carry on a lot of uh, the city theaters shut down completely mm -hmm. and we were at least able to bring a holiday show and a February uh, black history month show to the general public on demand um, we also you know leaned into COVID and our Facebook became a virtual balcony in the uh, oh. spirit of Italy. And we had actors that were just recording themselves doing karaoke at home and we would <laughs> upload it to Facebook. So oh, wow. um, we've, we've been not only trying to minister to the general community, but also, you know, actors love to do their craft and they were hurting. And so we've done anything that we can to try to make art. And we are presently in rehearsals for Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. We recently had to, like in, a week ago, our board voted to go back to rehearsing in mask. And then going forward, we have to have proof of vaccination for our actors going forward for their protection as well as the patrons. So, um, but we're keeping on, keeping on. Sweet. Do you, um, so how's your music done? Is it done with um, like the symphony or any other organizations? Have you collaborated? Just curious. I mean, um, we have collaborated that. with some individuals, but we do okay. live music. You live music um, too, right. You know, personally, I've directed three musicals and we have a uh, live musical. Um, I've been known to be in the pit doing percussion from time to time. <laughs> oh and, uh, but we feel that that's important. We'd rather not have um, tracks. That means that our music is somewhat different um, than, than what you might get in a bigger theater, but it's we try to be much more creative with our small space and our small yeah. bands. Terrific. Any questions from Ellen? How many people are in your company? It's not a company. We audition by the show. We have a board of nine members. Uh, we have a music director who's an ex, ex officio non-voting member of the board as managing director. I'm ex officio non-voting. And then we just, um, have our regulars and then we open up to uh, for every audition because that we feel that every play requires a different kind of person and you know we, we try to give opportunities where we can as well where we can expand ensembles we're we're tied on floor space but we love seeing new faces <laughs> you say that every meeting. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> you're exactly what we're talking about, Matthew. How, how That's you, why we're doing this. Two blocks away. <laughs> do you advertise? I mean, I'm, I'm not part of the board, but do you advertise, or how do you get the word out about? Uh, we do have a Facebook page. We interact with Instagram as well. Um, 
we used to do app and ads, but they got prohibitively expensive. And you know, after doing some polling, print is just just not our our you know way of doing things. So social media ha has been our biggest deal, and uh, continuing to reach out to people who have come through our doors and let them know what we're doing. Yeah. I'm sorry, no, and your website's on here too, right? On your, your handout. Yeah. Okay. All right, dot org. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yes. Perfect. We have recently switched to a dot org from dot com, but both will take you to our website. Okay. Terrific. All right. Following Act One on Facebook is probably the easiest way to get it updates. Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> um, you mentioned uh, Performing Arts Center. I'm curious, what do you? think would be big benefits of having a performing arts center, especially for Act One, and how do you see yourself interacting with other aspects of our performing arts landscape in Alfreda? Well, um, I, I see that the arts center has some classes, but um, as you say, if you don't make classes, you have to cancel them, and I sometimes wonder if having a, an affiliated performing arts center and a community theater, that that wouldn't raise the visibility of the educational aspects. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in particular, some other examples are, you know, in Woodstock, there's a very symbiotic relationship between the visual arts that they do and the performing arts that they do. They're all under one umbrella. And I think Arts Alfred is trying for that, but not having a central location mm -hmm. somewhat complicates that. Yeah, so set design and, and like we asked before, the, the music accompanying the the shows, all that would be in one house. We are really trying to get that symbiotic relationship. With musicians, it's a little hard because they expect compensation, and we just aren't in a position to do that. It's love of the craft, and uh, it's easier for the musicians to find individual paying gigs at the churches or busking mm -hmm. or you know, things like that. But we would love to have more musicians come and participate with us and have some of our visual artists help us come do set design. Uh, I think that's one of the limitations of being an all-volunteer theater is we have day gigs. <laughs> Just trying to get out there and shake the trees. And so anything that the commission can do to raise awareness and you know maybe we can do more symbiotic advertising between the arts center volunteers and our theater. Sweet. So if you could, for the next couple of shows, if you could wave magic wand, uh, magic wand and, and get some advertising, what would you want? Wow. Um, that's tough. I, it, it's difficult because I would love to see more advertising from the city, but we, it does get complicated because we're based in a church and they can't be seen to. So they're awesome at promoting the Shakespeare in the park and the black box because that's you know, on City of Alpharetta turf. It's just I wish that there could be a little more, um, you know, knowledge base, whatever that might be. It doesn't have to be advertising uh, from the city. I don't know what that looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do, do we have outlets where we can put this without getting in trouble because it's because of the location? We, I mean, we advertise our partnered programs, and that's kind of the standard that we do with all of our groups. So arts, let's see, the um, Alpha Arts Guild, we don't advertise their shows at Avalon because that's not our partnered program. No. So it's, you know, a little bit beyond just, you know, just it, like the church. It's really about where our partnership and agreement is. Okay. I think, think you I might suggest that, you know, when you're advertising Shakespeare, whatever you say, and for their main stage shows, check and then drive them to our website, which is not affiliated with the church. Maybe there's just just knowledge that there's other shows. Sure, we're we're actually um, right now our website master. He's revising the cultural services pages, and I'm hoping to have it launched in fall. And we'll have all of our art leader groups listed with links to their sites. And so we're doing a really big overhaul. So that'll give a good, better presence. I think that'll help. Sure. Yes. And a big shout out to the ACVB. They're very supportive of our shows for their calendars. You know, there used to be a calendar in the app and newspaper. And I would find so much there. But they don't have just the calendar of events anymore. Yeah. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, we used it's to just be gonna make mess. regulars in that. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I think, you know, the economy and COVID yeah. has hit app as much as anything. Right. All right. Anybody? 
Thank you so much, Melody. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's great. Right. Um, Gene, you had an update on the symphony. Yeah, I'm gonna pick with Morgan. He knows what my my deal was. I'm bringing. I'm helping Morgan bring a track to fix the track out there. And I told Morgan the other day. I said, I think an amphitheater would be a good trade-off. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're doing a track here, bringing a track, and some of my partners are coming from New York. And Morgan's been in several Zoom meetings with us, Zoom calls. And so the symphony, um, I'm in talks with the Hamilton. And uh, so I think this Alfreda Symphony will be making some, some leeway. I'm producing a Christmas with Love project with um, Manuel Seal. And if you don't know who Manuel Seal is, he's produced Mariah Carey. He made all, wrote all her hits, Aretha Franklin, Gladys Knight, Lionel Richie. I can go on and on and he lives right here. I was just with him Monday. He lives right here in, in Atlanta, and he's asked the symphony to do all the arrangements, Grant and the Alpharetta Symphony, to be a part of that project. So I think that puts a lot of, will put a lot of light on the city, of course, and what the symphony's doing. And so I think, what else are we doing, Morgan? Oh, we're doing the, the tech. We're going to use work with Morgan um, for Preston Ridge, and we're going to do a kids and women in tech, um, well, I guess seminar, or convention, whatever it's going to be, conference. Um, so I appreciate Morgan for just really being involved um, with what we, what we want to do in the city here, um, especially because we live in a tech city. Um, and also, while I'm thinking about it, Melody, um, you should talk to um, Innovate, Innovation Academy. They mm -hmm. have a five uh, auditorium, 500 seater. I've talked to the principal, great person. He gave me a whole tour of the building. And the only thing is we were planning on doing a 9-11 tribute, but because this COVID thing is just out of control, we had to, and the symphony actually was going to present it. But you should look into that as an option. I meant to tell you that, yeah. And if you haven't been to Innovation Academy, it's just out of this world. It's, and their theater is really nice. So that's it for me. So, okay, any other comments from the uh, guy? So can I clean up what Gene said a little uh -huh. bit uh, on the track? I don't know, maybe, because I noticed there was a couple of folks that maybe didn't know what we were talking about. We, we're back at Innovation Academy for this. If you remember, Old Milton High School was there, and then, and then uh, so they had the high school, and then they had all the athletic facilities in the back. Mm -hmm. And then they decided they were going to build Innovation Academy about three and a half, almost four years ago, and they closed everything down. So they closed the athletic facilities down, and they sat there for three and a half years, wow. unkept, undone, and they opened this brand new building. And we approached uh, Fulton County about us taking over the athletic facilities because we need, we need rectangle fields here in the city. And so we got an MOU with Fulton County where we are the caretakers of the athletic facilities over at Innovation Academy oh, for the next great. 10 years. Now we have put in uh, almost to date $250,000 renovating that facility because it was in dire straits, folks. I can't, you can't imagine how bad it, it literally looked like it was, um, uh, uh, it was in a third world country almost down there. So we have got, brought it back. It looks really good except for the track. We just have ran out of money. We knew we would. So the track that goes around the old football field um, is, in, is in pretty bad shape. You can still walk on it, but it's old asphalt. To get that to where we want it, which is that nice, new, spongy, um, surface that all the track folks want is about three hundred thousand dollars. It's very expensive. So I was talking to Gene one day, and he said he had an idea. So he's got some folks that are wanting that have shown an interest in putting down a new track surface and then starting a track program for the youth. So we're in conversations with that, and I feel really good about that because we don't have a track program in Alpharetta. We need one for our kids, not just track, but track and field. That's one of the things we don't have. So we're really excited about that. Plus, it is used by the community too. Um, and uh, so 
Uh, I just wanted to let them know that we're talking about that track program is over at Innovation Academy. And again, that's a facility that's in downtown Alpharetta that is really, folks, a state of the art. So if you don't get it, if you haven't had a tour of that facility yet, you really need to go see it because it is unbelievable. And while you're there, check out the athletic facilities. They look really good now. So. And also, I forgot we had, we talked about mental health component mm -hmm. because young people are, everybody is, but young people are really dealing with uh, mental health. And I called Morgan, I spoke to the mayor, I had to meet with the mayor, but I had a young man, remember I told you about that, mm -hmm. a young man, he was 19 years old, he was getting ready to, he wanted to jump off a parking deck at the house in. And so I thought first thing I did was call because I think that was very important. And so we talked about that mental health component and he's been giving us all kind of um, information and statistics. So we're really, really happy about that. And the, and the other thing that Gene mentioned was the prior to that was the uh, technology um, possibilities at, at Preston Ridge. Um, if you rem I don't know if you knew or not, but the city built a community center on the east side of town right next to Preston mm -hmm. Ridge YMCA. It's part of it. But what people, a lot of people don't know is that is our facility, the upstairs, the three rooms, the, the three, there's three large meeting rooms and the lobby. That is the city of Alpharetta facility, not a Y facility. So we're trying to program that facility. We're doing senior programs in the morning, we're doing youth programs in the evening, and we're renting it on the weekends. And uh, when, when me and Gene met one day, we were talking about that, and we thought that that would be a great way to bring the, the kids um, into the program, do a technology-based robotics kind of thing where they learn to build stuff and all like that, which would be a bring attention to Preston Ridge. So I'd offer that up mm -hmm. to the rest of the commission, if there's a way that we can use that Preston Ridge Community Center and get it out in front of the public. If you have an idea, uh, call me because I will. I listen. I like to. I like to collaborate. I like to do. Um, I like to do a lot of partnerships and those kind of things. So if you have an idea, I'd love to talk to you about it. I love all that. Thank you for the updates. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Morgan. That was awesome. All right. Any other comments from? Can I throw some ideas in there? Because I know I'll forget <laughs> to send the emails. Um, so I. I remember when my kids were Girl Scout and Boy Scout, um, if we wanted to do a community outreach event of any kind, we always were looking for locations that weren't public school buildings because we could never get permits for that. So if that is a possibility to use these rooms, I think reaching out to the scouting community would be huge because um, they, can, they can do cross... Mm, Council events that way that would that would be the first one and then I think there is a Lego robotics team at the middle school and I think at the high school right there Thank you Sabine great anything else All Right, I guess that's it. So we will adjourn. Thank you everyone wonderful